I just did the first mow of the year with my Simplicity Regent a few days ago. It's time to do the annual oil change and I also thought it's a good opportunity to take the deck off and see how our non-stick coating fared after one mowing. Well, it's not too bad. It wasn't very wet, but the non-stick properties... Mm. This is all grass here. Now, to be fair, I did a lawn renovation last year. So my grass is not as thick as I'd like it. And I was kicking up a lot of dust and dirt. So a good portion of this is kind of dirt that got packed on there. So we'll continue to monitor it. The other thing in the high wear area here, we're already down, I believe that's the white primer I used. Basically the high velocity areas with a lot of flow. Some build up here too. On the front side, the way the airflow works, the small blade, the small blade passes grass and air to the big blade to go out the chute over here. So the majority of the flow is out this way. So it, right at the tip of this blade, where the highest velocity is, we're down to bare metal there already. But it's the cleanest spot. I went with Briggs and Stratton straight 30 weight this time. The AMS oil is a phenomenal oil. It's just hard to justify. Well, first of all, it's harder to get. I have to order it. And it's a lot more expensive, which it's better. But I don't come anywhere near the hours. Like I, said, I only put probably 30 hours a year on this lawnmower, so I don't get anywhere close to where viscosity breakdown would be a concern. So this conventional straight 30 weight oil uh, fits my needs just fine. I finished cleaning up the deck. It's not perfect. You can see areas where the non-stick paint, actually all the paint, even the primer wore down to bare metal. So we'll continue to monitor all this throughout the season, but I hate, I hate to say it. The best solution might be just letting this go down to bare metal and taking it off every once in a while and pressure washing it to get it clean. You just can't keep paint on it. All right, that concludes today's maintenance on the Simplicity Simple Oil Change. Take care of your stuff and it'll last longer. Now I get the question once in a while, has this been a reliable machine? Have I had lots of problems with it because I have lots of videos on how to diagnose the blades not working and the height of cut and things like that. Those have all been from requests. I've not actually had a problem with the system. I'm just showing you how to troubleshoot and fix if you do. I've not had any problems with this machine. Uh, except for one time when I took the deck off, I forgot to disconnect the height of cut wires and rip those off, so I had to fix that. That was completely on my own. And then one of the braces on the mower deck, the weld broke and I had to repair that with a rivet, which I did a video on. But pretty minor things all in all. It's run perfectly. I'm going on three years, 88 hours. I know it's not that many hours. Um, but good machine overall and the floating deck and the floating deck is absolutely necessary for my terrain. Anything else without the floating deck, I have to cut super tall because otherwise I scalp all the high spots. This helps with that immensely. So sticking with the simplicity region. Thanks for watching. Adios.